Hello Pyromaniacs and welcome back to Just Cause 3. Today we have a yet another interesting video. As you see, I have figured out how to change the character's skin so that Rico looks very differently. Just kidding, he's actually in the passenger seat, but this is in fact a neat trick that I learned. I'm not actually driving the car here, the AI is. So I've learned how to get into the passenger seat and not on top of the roof. And the AI does react a little bit differently than if you were riding on top of the roof because he doesn't know that you're in the car so it just carries on with its own business and you can't do anything here you can't shoot or anything which could have been a cool addition but of course the developers didn't program the game to be played in this way and if you're like me you would know that that is the best way to play a game play a game in a way that the developers did not intend to and uh yeah just that's just an interesting thing because you can see how the ai's behave when they're alone um it's not a predetermined path i learned uh, it's a completely random path when there's gunfire these guys just get really spooked and start running into everyone else and just causing chaos in traffic so all that is really cool to experience for yourself again it reacts very differently if you were on the roof i think so uh yeah this works on most cars that i've tried so far um i haven't i've actually not had a had a try where it didn't work with a car so i'm going to show you how you can do this as well for yourself but as you can see it's very funny just to see rico sit there in the ai car and just be driven around so you can use this as a taxi service as you can see point in case they actually go and mess up a lot when they see those guys over there on the on the back uh, when they see gunfire when they see uh, rebels they just all go a little bit crazy as you can see there's still a commotion back there and yeah this is very funny to do uh, i just like driving around and see what craziness the ai does and that is just a great way to see to get a, a little bit into the developer's head and see some of how they program this game so let's go on to that and i'll show you how you can do this yourself so now i'm going to show you how you two can get into the ai side of a car and be the passenger and let them drive you around as if they were a taxi so yeah basically the trick here as funny as it sounds is uh you've got to block up the passenger door so that they can't get out and the way you do that is by parking a car right next to it so let's see how well we can do this uh, you need to park it right there so that they can't open their door and then basically you've got to do this in a quick motion but you what you've got to do is uh, release the tether and then press triangle and get in the car come on stay down yeah he, when he moves like that he will be able to get out because uh, the car isn't blocking it enough so what we can do here is do that and then pull the car in a little bit there we go so basically fluid motion cut the tethers and get in and there we go as you can see i managed to do it very smoothly it doesn't always work out that well but here here we have a new taxi driver and he's gonna take us all around medici for free so that's how you do it if you'd like to do it uh mess around with it uh, try to get into the biggest vehicles i'm not sure if it works on everyone but as you can see it works on this car as well so that's it for this video thanks for watching i hope you learned something i hope you're gonna try this mess around a little bit i sure i'm gonna because i'm gonna make some uh, interesting videos doing uh, this kind of stuff for my next on compilation which is coming up shortly by the way click on the screen now if you want to go see my last one which is pretty awesome so yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe if you want more of this insanity and until next time leader.